Hello again, it's Thursday afternoon here at DX Engineering, and that means it's time for another episode of Digital Dorsey. I'm your host, Ken Dorsey. My call sign is Kilo Alpha 8, Oscar Alpha Delta, and we discuss all things digital and uh, other options that we have in the uh, shack for doing uh, communications. Lately, we've been working with the Raspberry Pi computer. We've been going through uh, different uh, Pi uh, uh, ways you can utilize a Pi in the shack. Uh, we talked about Echo Link. We've talked about uh, actually running FT8 off of a Pi remotely, um, various other options uh, for a Pi. And I've had a few people say, well, you know, uh, what you've been doing with the Pi is cool with the remote uh, operation on like a tablet, things like that but I really want to use a Pi in my Go box and I would rather have just a uh, keyboard and a monitor on the Pi and not have to have a, a separate computer to carry around with me when I'm working out of the Go box. So I have an example here of something that I use in my Go box uh, when I uh, am using it. Uh, that is basically a small monitor that we have here. And this is actually a monitor that was made for uh, 12 volt for a car. So this is a little car monitor. It has a HDMI port on the back, has an RGB port, and then of course 12 volt power. Uh, and this is just one example. I'm not saying that uh, this is, you know, I'm not endorsing this manufacturer or anything, but uh, this is just an example of what you might want to use. Again, that's what I use uh, in my Go box. Uh, granted, the display is small, and that means everything is pretty small text-wise. Uh, the resolution, the native resolution on that display is 1280 by 720, and at that resolution, things are fairly small. So I tend to run it a little bit uh, lower resolution, around 800 by 400, something like that, uh, to, just to make the text look a little bit bigger for those of us that have the older eyes and have glasses and <laughs> need that extra big text. Uh, but we are going to show you real quick what we do with this. I have my uh, trusty portable battery pack here. Nothing more than an ammo can that I've repurposed with a with a 12 volt uh, lead out, uh, sealed lead acid battery in here to give me power. I do have a little uh, power meter on the top so I can turn on the, the meter and see I've got a good charge on my battery. If you want to see the pack, this is what it looks like on the inside. There's some extra stuff floating around in here because there's some room for some extra space but basically just the battery and that's the power pack so to get the 5 volts on the for the Pi since we're running 12 volts off the pack um, PowerWorks makes this nice little adapter system that has a, a 12 volt the Anderson power poles standard Anderson power poles to a 5 volt converter that brings it out on a USB, female USB port. So that's what I use for the 5 volts to power the Pi. And then of course our monitor here just uses standard 12 volts so I threw a couple Anderson power poles on that for the 12 volts for the, the monitor. So I'm going to plug these in. I use this little nifty four-way uh, power pole device to plug in both of these. We'll plug this into our battery and we'll get the Pi plugged into the adapter here and we'll plug the monitor into the Pi. Yes, we've got cables everywhere. There we go. Now we've got the monitor plugged into the Pi. Now as far as the keyboard goes, I use a little USB keyboard it looks like this. Um, any little USB keyboard would work. I like this one because it does have a mouse built in, so it has a little trackpad mouse on here, so you can use the mouse with the Pi. We'll plug that guy in here. And it just plugs into one of the free USB ports on the Pi. And, and we're booting up the Pi, so we'll turn power on on the monitor here. One thing you can't do with a Pi is you can't uh, turn it on before you get the monitor on or it won't recognize the HDMI out there. And you can force HDMI if you want to go into the config file, into the uh, settings on the config file. So there we go. There's our Raspberry Pi up on the screen. 
All right, so there we have the Pi running on uh, a battery with a monitor and a keyboard. If you have any questions, let us know. Uh, DXEngineering at DXEngineering.com or DigitalDorsey at DXEngineering.com. I'd love to uh, answer your questions for you. And thanks again for watching. Until next week, 73.